Hi guys, it's your boy Drinksmaster here, back again with another big time review of what uh, the latest and weirdest uh, soft drinks are. Uh, today I'm drinking uh, this uh, uh, Cassis, the original Cassis, which I believe is black currant. Um, this is made by a brand called Hero. Um, since 1886, they've been making this stuff. So this is a heritage brand. Um, this wasn't expensive. I got it at the supermarket. I think it was around 50 cents. Uh, so it's not very expensive. It does actually come from concentrate. It's got 5% of, uh, of one juice in it and 2% of another. I don't read Dutch, so I'm not quite sure what. So at least one of it's got to be black currant, I'm hoping. Um, I quite like the can. It's quite, it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's not too whimsical. You know, this is something that, you know, you could um, drink at the office and no one would think you're a, uh, you know, a charlatan or a maniac. So uh, overall, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on there. I don't drink an awful lot of black currant. I, you know, obviously Ribena is, uh, here's some ice. It's enough ice. Um, Ribena is something that I really enjoy. I don't even know if this is carbonated or not. I mean, it, it, it might be carbonated because you can see it's got some bubbles there, but it could also be just a marketing ploy. Um, Oh, uh, I didn't make too much of a fizz. Let's, let's see. Okay. Well, the colour is pretty much spot on for what we'd expect from a uh, black currant drink. Uh, it uh, is clearly uh, mildly fizzy, let's say lightly carbonated. Um, it has sugar in it quite a lot. So this isn't one of those zero sugar ones. So uh, I might be feeling a little bit um, fruity afterwards. No pun intended. Um, cheers. Burns the throat a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So this tastes a little bit like Ribena. It hasn't quite got so much of a rounded fruitiness. It also doesn't taste quite as sweet. Um, it's also got quite a tart flavour on the tongue, um, which overall uh, distinguishes it quite severely from what we've come to expect from most blackcurrant drinks. Um, it feels like maybe a slightly more adult version of Ribena. Um, I think that it wouldn't taste very nice mixing it with anything else, so I wouldn't necessarily suggest you mix it with any alcoholic beverages, if that's your um, persuasion. And in terms of thirst quenchability, the tartness kind of robs it of too much um, of too much of a uh, thirst quencher. So, I think maybe this might be something quite nice to maybe just have in the evening. I can imagine drinking this almost warm as well, although that would remove the fizz. So they probably don't recommend that. But I think I think really this would beat a Ribena in a warm contest because this uh, this, as I say, the tartness sits on the tongue a little bit more uh, subtly. So um, yeah, overall, I'd give this drink. I'll give it a six point five out of ten. That seems a little bit harsh, but you know, in the face of many other drinks, I think that this one is not it, the, the things that distinguish this from other drinks doesn't necessarily set it apart in a higher scale. Cheers.